questions from us? <laughs> we didn't know you had Florence do an opening, so we didn't know. You, you know me. I'm I know not that. Really right. <laughs> opening statements, not for me. You're looking at the third downs in Chicago, like what do you need to do to be more efficient, and what are you working on this week going into the San Francisco? Well, really, to be more efficient on third down, we have to be in some more manageable third downs. It's really about first, second down efficiency. I think we had, uh, not counting the four minute at the end of the game, I think we had seven uh, third and 10 plus uh, snaps. So um, always going to be kind of uh, tough sledding at, at the, on those types of downs. Um, and we, we've actually been one of the better teams in the league on, on that down and distance, but you don't want to try to make a living uh, in those third and 10 pluses. So really, early down efficiency is going to help us there. What's the key to is it just being more efficient in the run game? And that's been, I know, something you guys have talked about for a while. But what do you see that you need to do to be better on first and second down to set that up? Well, I mean, run game is, is one of those things that you know shows up more on first, second down, certainly. but. Uh, um, there were certainly things in the past game as well that uh, we felt we could have been uh, more efficient, found completions, made a catch, you know, all, the, all those types of things that uh, sometimes you can avoid third down completely, and that's, that's ultimately what you'd like. Wes, do you anticipate the usage of Cam Akers changing at all or expanding, or do you think this is kind of the, the pattern that you guys will keep? No, I, I think each game's a little bit different as to how it plays out and kind of, uh, uh, you know, how many different situations you're, you're going to be in, how much tempo you're using, what those plays are, uh, all, those, all those types of things. But, uh, but I do see Cam uh, continuing to get carries and, and get touches and get, get more involved. With the run game against Chicago, what were they doing defensively to kind of move it that complicated? So what you guys attempted to do? Um, well, first of all, I'd say that you know everyone in the league knows what they do, and uh, uh, that's Eberflus's system. Uh, when you're going to play a lot of uh, a lot of Tampa two. Um, Generally, you're not getting a lot of just straight, straight four-man rush because you have to try to stop the run in some way. Uh, with with without that eighth man down in the box, you know, in a base defense, for instance. Uh, so there there is a lot of line movement, uh, kind of taking the three and the and the five or the six and and spiking those guys open in open edge five techniques spiking inside. Guys kind of playing over the top. The backers playing over the top. Um, it's something, you know, we definitely uh, worked very hard at during the during the week. Um, but it is a little unique to their defense. You don't see it as much uh, from week to week. And uh, you know, thought last year we 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 handled some of that movement really well. And uh, you know, they got us. They got us a couple times. In this game, and uh, that's kind of kind of going into it. They weren't real high as far as rush defense yards per game, but I think they were sixth in the league in uh, tackles for loss in the run game. So uh, we knew there might be a couple in there, but but we definitely wanted to be more efficient than we were. Hey Wes, with the with the drop passes, or how much of a concern is that over the course of this season? Considering that it seems to be coming from some of your more reliable players at times. It's not. It's not really a concern. I mean, we, we have confidence in these guys to, to go out and, and, and make the plays, and um, you know these guys are getting on the jugs. And I mean, it's it's not for a lack of focus, effort. The drill work they do, they get on the jugs after practice. Um, they all catch balls. So um, you know we have confidence in those guys out there. With um. Christian Derrissaw, is there anything you see in terms of his further development into you know being in that upper echelon of left tackles? He kind of emerged last year, but seems to be either as good or better so far this year. Yeah, uh, you know, with those guys, I think it's with with any player to to be considered upper echelon. It's just doing it time after time, game after game, where um, you know generally these edge rushers. 
doesn't matter which guy it is on which side, you know, just just not hearing from them throughout throughout the game and uh, uh, pass pro, but also also run game. You know, you see a guy that we're about to play like Trent Williams, who's a great pass protector, but really he gets highlighted in a lot of games because of what he does in the run game. Uh, and uh, CD CD certainly has that ability and and has uh, has had a really good year so far, but he's just got to continue to do it over time and and eventually everybody will notice and and more than more importantly than anything his peers uh, notice and uh, I think that's the ultimate compliment. What was Cleveland successful with in uh, doing enough offensively to, to upset the 49ers? Really, they made a lot of timely kind of plays when, when they needed it in the clutch moments, but uh, uh, they ran the ball really effectively. Uh, they had some, some good scheme in there. They had some good uh, uh, quick passes to kind of steal some yards in some certain situations. Um, and, you know, I give uh, P.J. Walker credit. He hadn't been there a whole, a whole lot of time and, and to, to lead the team there. and. And get him in position at the end to win the game uh, uh, was pretty impressive uh, by him. But uh, but yeah, I thought I thought uh, as far as what teams have been able to do to these guys, the the run game for them was was really key. What did you think of Dalton Reisner in there last week after Ezra went out? Did did everything we asked him to do? Played played very hard. Uh, was was sprinting down the field uh, when a run got down there, trying to. Trying to kind of pick guys off before the before the play was dead, uh, you know, worked worked his technique, fundamentals. He, he's got a good, uh, calming kind of presence in there. Knows how to play the game and start a lot of games. So, um, you know, we'll see where Ezra's at. But uh, but if he has to play, we certainly feel comfortable with him. What did it mean to have Justin um, there on Sunday and as engaged as he seemed to be just throughout the day? I think it's great for. For the guys in that room, um, particularly, and, and and the rest of our team, just um, and I don't think there's anything forced about that from Justin. He just he loves the game, and uh, you know he, when when he comes back, he wants to be in a position to go chase a playoff opportunity. You know, uh, chase the highest the highest level. So. Um, He's he's into it. He's he was at meetings. He was engaged. He's trying to, you know, take that captain, that leadership role, and uh, help those guys be as good as they can possibly be. How much did, how much talk, if any, this week has there been about just being able to win at home? It's been a while since you guys have, have done that. How much has that come up with just trying to change that around and and uh, take care of the opportunities you have at home? We would love to win one at home uh, for our fans. Um, that that's definitely something we would like to do. But but ultimately, we just want to win this football game, and and whether it was home or away or or anywhere, um, you know, that's that's really the focus. As I don't know that we can do anything extra just because we're at home. You do have an advantage from our crowd, for, particularly on our defensive side is a great advantage. I, 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 I'm a big believer in home field advantage from that aspect. But uh, uh, to have our home crowd and have the energy behind you, and hopefully we can steal the momentum and, uh, and keep, them, keep them going throughout the game. But, uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we're grinding on, on San Francisco defense and, and trying to find ways to, to block Bosa and Fred Warner and Armstead and all all these guys uh, uh, certainly a challenge. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.